I got it out, but look, it is so frozen that I broke it. I broke the cache. So friends, did you survive? Did you survive the polar vortex? Holy cow, up here in the Northern Hemisphere, it was like 35 below zero. That was crazy. Certainly not ideal weather for geocaching. Too cold to go geocaching, but it is never too cold to receive the cash crate. So today, again, we are going to unbox a cash crate. If you don't know what the cash crate is, it is a geocaching subscription box every month. Geocaching goods are delivered directly to your door. Lisa from Cash Advance knows exactly what geocachers like. But one of the things I really enjoy about the cash crate is that it always inspires me. It inspires me to do something different in geocaching and it just inspires me to get outside and use this stuff. So without further ado, let's open up the cash crate and see all the fun that's inside, and maybe it will inspire me to get outside and go geocaching. All right, here we go. The presentation is so wonderful. Oh my gosh, it's not a spoon. It's not a fork, it's a spork. Spring is going to be here soon, and it's time for not only geocaching weather, but picnicking weather. All right, so how cool is this? That, that's how compact it gets, and then just go, you just go like this, and you have a tool for a tasty treat. Eating utensils on the go. I love it. I'll use these when I'm on the trail. Thank you, Cash Advance. What do we have here? Ooh, the ultimate log roller. Clips onto ultimate lanyard. Oh my gosh. Easily roll up the smallest micro and nano sized log sheets. Oh yes. I can put this on my backpack and able to roll up logs very, very quickly. Let's take it out. You put the piece of paper on there and you twist it and that rolls up the log sheet and it's in a nice little storage thing and you can hang it on your backpack. All right, what else? All right, it looks like we have here a geocaching seek and find journal. There's lots of info you can put in your, sometimes in the field, you want maybe you want to take notes on something. This is truly a journal just for geocaching. Even if you're not a journal person, this looks like super legit. And often I am writing down stuff. Maybe I can even use this to stamp letter boxes. Like I could use this for letter boxes. Every letter box I find, I can write it down and put the stamp in there. Cause there's certainly like enough room in the notes. And I always get the add on trackable. And this month it is a lovely little lion. Look at that. So many things this month have inspired me to go out and use this, so I'm gonna throw this out in the wild. I'll take my journal along with me. I'll write down some stuff about it. Maybe eat some snow, not yellow snow. And maybe if I find a nano container, I can roll up the log book like this. Who knows? All right, there you have it. If you're interested in the Cash Crate, go to cashcrate.com. You can subscribe there. You can cancel anytime. And you too can get fun geocaching stuff sent to your door every single month. It is a blast. It keeps me inspired in these cold months and gets me excited to go geocaching. So without further ado, the polar vortex is gone. It is now a little bit warmer. So let's go out. Let's take my new stuff and let's go geocaching. Oh my gosh, it is now beginning to snow. All right, first item. First item that I can use is my spork. I'm gonna find some snow to eat, making sure that it's not yellow. The snow by this rock looks safe. All right, here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Refreshing, refreshing. All right, let's go use the rest of the stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, is that a birdhouse? No, it's not, because look. Oh, there, look, there was a woodpecker that was like, let me in there, let me in there. Well, he didn't know you get in through the side. I love when it's obvious I found a geocache. I've got my trackable here. I put it in a little baggie with a little note to make sure it gets to where I want it to go. Got the lion and attached to it is a Pez dispenser of Han Solo. Hello, sir. May the force be with you always. So this little guy's goal is to go to GeoCoinFest Europe in September of 2019. Actually, I just noticed there is no Millennium Falcon. It's just his head. Good luck, little guy.
So we have some success dropping off the trackable. Now let's try to find a nano to use the nano roller. So I dropped the trackable, I rolled up a tiny, tiny log book, and now I'm gonna do a letterbox to use the journal. The stage one brings me to a tunnel. In the middle of the tunnel, there's a road over me. Let's go find stage one. Ah, it's cold. So as I'm walking through here, I noticed something odd. I noticed that there were lights on top of the tunnel. That makes sense. Lights, lights, lights. And then I noticed something a little bit weird. What the heck? Why is there a smoke detector on top of this tunnel? That has got to be the first stage. Oh my gosh, that was not easy to get, and my hands are freezing. It was, in fact, a smoke detector, and the information for the letterbox to figure out which way to go is written right on here. So let's follow the directions and see if we can find this thing. Okay, I followed the steps for the letterbox hybrid, and it took me to the spot, and look what I found. Oh yeah. We got, we got treasure, people. Oh my gosh, and it is buried treasure under snow and ice and all the things. So let's see. Let's see if I can kick this thing free. I got it out, but look, it is so frozen that I broke it. Oh, you gotta be careful, guys. Fortunately, I know the hider. I will gift him a brand new ammo can. As you know, Letterbox Hybrid has a little stamp. So I got my stamp. Now I'm gonna use my book. All right, so I used the journal, dropped the trackable, found a letterbox, got a stamp. I think that is a great job. Actually, not such a great job because I broke the geocache. Don't worry, folks. I will have it replaced because that's what a good geocacher would do. You got to be honest. If you break those caches, you lose trackables, let people know about it and make it right. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.